Would you look at this beautiful new horse? There is so much about this that I absolutely love. Rosestone, Rosestone, look, my dear. This is a brand new North Swedish horse that has just been added in today, Rosestone. Today, she is that new to this world, even though she looks extremely patient and calm. And look at those beautiful brown eyes. Oh, and you have a little white spot on your head. Oh, I'm even more in love with you. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online, where Rosestone and I are greeting the newest addition to the bevy the hello rose stone yes it's very nice to see you rose stone you have beautiful beautiful eyes too <laughs> but to the absolute herds of horses that are on star stable the north swedish horse has just arrived and i have to say my friends I have to say, the fact that it is some of my favorite colors, the blacks, the browns, and spots, if you could call that a color, I guess it's a pattern, <laughs> but my favorite color is uh, green and brown, and you know, browns go really well with greens, and this is a gorgeous horse with gorgeous dots and spots on her belly. I love spotty butt horses. I cannot deny that. I absolutely adore spotty butt horses, but never did I think I would see spotty stomach, spotty tummy horses. Somehow that is even more adorable. And I think that this is definitely going to have to be a new addition to my stables, which is going to make things very interesting because guys, we kind of have a lot of horses. Ugh, I'm walking right into a fence post. Ah, there we go. Guys, I got a level with you. We kind of have a lot of horses. I have been frantically trying to keep up with caring for and maintaining all of those horses. But um, my stable is kind of completely jam-packed and full right now. And I'm not sure where I could fit in such a lovely new addition. But I actually do have a reason beyond her beautiful spotty tummy that I would want to get one of these horses. And that is because these new North Swedish horses are actually really good for good going into the colder areas, such as the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, which as you guys know, is something that I have had as a personal goal for so, 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 so long now. And I really hope to accomplish this year, maybe. <sighs> it's been so much work because I have to read out every single dialogue piece of the quest in Star Stable to share with you guys to make progress. But I, I really love her. She's beautiful. She's my favorite colors. There's a couple other colors we'll go look at of the North Swedish horse first. But they are said to be calm and friendly horses and make a fantastic family horse, no less. And what are we, Rose Stone? We and all of our horses and all of the small pets that we have been so adamantly collecting, but family. So clearly, I think that this will make a great addition, um, especially because I don't think I have a horse that tolerates cold yet. And you guys have been warning me, I am desperately going to need one of them in order to really explore Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur comfortably. A lot of my other horses won't be very comfortable with that. So, hmm... I do indeed believe that this would be the perfect new addition to my stables. Just the fact is, my stables are really, 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 really full of horses right now. So I'm not sure exactly when or if I could add her in just yet. But let's go check out the other two varieties. I'm really in love with this one because Spotty Tommies! How could you not fall in love with a Spotty Tommy? If she was a puppy or a kitten, I would be like just petting her tummy all day and doing whatever it took to get him to roll over. Maybe she'll let me pet her tummy later too. All right. But let's go ahead and we're going to go check out the other two varieties of new North Swedish horse that have been added in before we make our final decision. And then we are going to go and take a peek over at the, um, the my stable. And we're going to try to figure out what to do when we have so many herds of horses. All right, so next up is actually going to Valdel. That is, oh, is this one? Oh, so many. Oh, there's a fox. So much, so much to see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go pop over to Valdel. I know that the foxes are part of Mistfall and I really need to start pecking away hardcore at all of the various quests because we need to go to Mistfall. Uh, especially if I think Valdel is still just so stunningly beautiful. I love coming here. And if the, the rumors and legends and stories you guys are telling me about Mistfall are anything as close to how beautiful Valdel is to me, 
I'm going to be very, very happy indeed. Let's see. So if I was going to be somebody selling horses, that's what they said. The horses sell in Valdel. Where would the horses be now that I think about it? Um, <laughs> I feel so silly, but I just realized I've never tried to buy horses in Valdel. I usually just go straight for the druids. I, I love the druids and I love the druid outfits. But it never occurred to me to think. It says that the other two horses can be found here in Valdel. Oh my gosh, there's a whole stable here. I had no idea. The number of times I have crossed Silversong River, I have walked on this bridge, are so few in number <laughs> that I honestly had no idea where to begin to look for horses. And here they are. I had no idea this was here. I feel very silly now, but oh my gosh, look at these herds of horses. They're so pretty. What do you mean? All of the brown, beautiful horses were hiding here all along. Oh my gosh. This is not good news for the size of my stable. <laughs> it is going to become so crowded. What am I going to do? Oh my goodness. I love you. You're like Silver Secret's daughter. You're beautiful. An Arabian thoroughbred with a beautiful brown nose. Do you call it a muzzle? I am not an equestrian expertise sort of person. Uh, what do we have here? Another one. Of, oh, no, you're gorgeous, too. Oh, no, what am I going to pick? <laughs> Here's another one of the North Swedish horses. Oh, my gosh, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. I thought it was going to be an easy decision as soon as I walked straight up to the brown one with all of her beautiful spotted tumminess. And then I look at these two and oh, look at their little forelocks. They're just so furry. I love it. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you guys, what do I do? I don't know what to pick. I honestly don't know which one to choose. And I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, oh my goodness. I, I'm going to have to go with my heart. That is the, the final answer. I'm just going to have to go with the one that clearly m needs to be part of my family and just go with my gut here. Um, wow. But I have to say, with all of the detail on the fur... And look how shaggy they look. Oh, that's so... I just want to, like, run a brush through their their coats. That's so lovely. Oh, my gosh. Which one would you guys pick? I'm actually really, really curious to know, like, which one of these three horses would you guys pick? Let me know. I th I'll try to put up a little poll if I remember. Because, wow, they're a lot more detailed. Their ears are wiggling. Oh, my gosh. I have to say, in the two and a half years I've been playing Star Stable, it has been so much fun to watch as the horses and their designs and their patterns and how they look and their animations just continue to get better and better and better. And I really love these little ones. I'm actually really in love with this one, too. I like all of them. But guess what? My Star Stable coin purse doesn't stretch that far. Not if I'm going to save up for any like special events that might suddenly pop up. So, whew. All right. Well, let's go ahead, get a little bit of breathing room from all of those amazing horses so that I can try to think straight. And let's pop over to my, let's go to our pickup spot. Or actually, let's do a race really quickly. That'll help settle the blood, maybe. <laughs> you know, when you can't really decide on something, sometimes it's good to go and like stretch your legs and go on a race. Plus, I need to really start building up my reputation in Valdel if I'm going to ever be able to reach the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, which has eluded me for years now. All right, let's pop over and let's talk to Sophie. Yes, I totally would. Also, guys, there is another thing I haven't mentioned yet. Another challenge facing us because there are so many amazing horses in our stable. And that is the fact I hardly have enough tack to go around. I have just a few pieces of full sets of gear and I kind of have gotten to the point where I have to rotate them between my horses. I do not have enough saddlebags. I do not have enough pets. I do, well, as though those are the most important things for my horses. When clearly I should say I don't have enough saddles. I don't have enough bridles. I don't have enough saddle blankets. <laughs> and here I am. I don't have enough pets for my horses. Oh my gosh, Siri. <laughs> clearly I see where your priorities lie, my dear. Anyway, yes, I don't have enough gear for... Oops, sorry, Rostone. Rostone, my dear, you were supposed to make that jump. Don't worry. I'm sure it was my fault somehow. Oh, that's a nice little fire pit. I should come over here and just have a nice little night. 
one night we can come out and like light the fire pit maybe oh let's have some food let's sit down and eat some really cute food to all roaston you were supposed to make that jump don't worry i'm sure it's my fault yes i love you too all right around we go <laughs> oh dear i've got to learn how to make rapid back-to-back -back jumps better or maybe apologies it might be my keyboard uh i am i killed in case you guys don't know i I unfortunately killed my keyboard by overwatering my plants. It was a tragedy of epic proportions, um, and I'm borrowing Chips's keyboard, and it responds very differently than the one I was used to. So, uh, Rowstone, clearly it's neither of our fault. <laughs> it's just because I'm not used to this new keyboard. We'll, we'll go with that, my dear. All right, there we go. Rowstone, where are we going? Okay, thank you, Rowstone. I think I would be better better off letting the cows lead her around this track. They probably know where everything is better than I do. <laughs> but I do have that problem of not having enough gear for all of my horses, my friends. And I think that we're going to have to start really getting back to work, quite literally. Quite literally getting back to work, earning up the shillings, which I haven't done for a long time. If you recall when we first began, and this was before your time even, Rosestone, my dear, but when we first began our adventures here in Star Stable, here on the island of Jorvik, I was dutiful, wonderfully diligent about doing my daily chores and going through and attending to the needs of the horses and all of the various stables throughout the lands. And I did that, my friends, because I earned money. <laughs> because I was flat broke. <laughs> And doing all of these little itty bitty chores actually helped me out quite a bit with getting the money I needed to buy the gear for my horses. Why, well, hello, horse eyeballs. This is a unique day. All right, onward. <laughs> but uh, after a time, I kind of got a little bit sassy. I kind of got a little bit sassy and I kind of got a little bit saucy. And I kind of listened to all of you who were like, oh, chores are so boring. I don't ever do my chores. You shouldn't either, Siri. And now I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? I, I actually, actually, I do need to do my chores because if I'm ever going to be able to get enough of all of the different gear pieces that I need to take care of all of my horses, then I definitely need to come through. I need to attend to things in the stables. All right, come along, come along. And I cannot start sticking my nose up. Like literally, I can't, I can't stick my nose up in the air like some sort of little Pinocchio like this and not gather up every stray shilling I have because it's going to take a lot of money in order to go through and and like decorate all of my horses yes thank you yes thank you okay whoops almost walked right in that so it may be very interesting as we return to our star stable adventures and we will slow down again and we will continue once more to actually go through and help out all of the people in the different stables and we will do the daily chores that so many, yes, thank you, <laughs> that so many neglect and ignore because we need those shillings. I want to take good care of my horses. I want to make sure that eventually they all have the, um, the wonderful gear they need and it wouldn't hurt. It really, really, really wouldn't hurt anything. If while we're doing all of this, we could increase our reputation. And I'm trying to remember, where do I go to look at my reputation? Right over here. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt if we started being a little more diligent about increasing our reputation. Not just through races, but through the small amount of time it takes just to uh, attend to some of our chores. So, all right, all of that rambling aside, let's go ahead. Come along, Rostone. And we're actually going to call for a pickup really quickly. There we go. And we're going to figure out what to do with our overstuffed stable of horses before... Oh my gosh, that hat! Please tell me where I can get that hat! <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that a unicorn? What is that? Oh, I am so behind on things. Rose Stone, we've got to get back into these adventures, which means I have to start doing my chores again. <laughs> but I have a plan for whew, all of these guys. Look at everybody. There's so many horses here. 
This is so fantastic, but so overcrowded. And look at our new additions, Diamond Whisperer. Oh my gosh, Cinnamon Glory. I am so happy to have them as new members in the family. We have got Fire Lord over here. We have got Star Chaser. We have Amethyst Mist, Autumn Promise. <laughs> Here's Silver Secret. We have so many horses. Phantom Fall right over here. Oh, Melody Warrior, our very first original horse. Echo Dreamer right over here, whose name is going to be changed to Mouse Dreamer because I know that's what she really wants. We have Apple Guardian. Oh my gosh. So many beautiful, fantastic horses. And we could make our, our stables even bigger if we wanted to. But I thought about it, guys, and I really think that my horses would be happier if some of them, the ones who aren't immediately up for the current adventures we're working on, since I like to sync the quest with the different personalities the horses have, uh, had a chance to get outside. It's almost springtime, and I'm sure that they would really enjoy being in the open air rather than shoved in here just so I can coo over how pretty they are. So I, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep a small group of horses inside of the my stable and we're going to focus on giving them the best gear and the best quest that I have to offer and the others will get to play in the pasture. And then as we start to finally level out our horses, as we start to really start exploring entire new areas of the world and unlocking quests that I have never touched or even heard of before, then we can bring the horses in from the pasture and see which one's personalities fits the quest that we have available the best. So I think that'll really help us out. So Melody Warrior, you are first up, my dear. We're gonna go ahead, I know you're not happy. I know you're not happy and this will make you happy. There we go. So Melanie Warrior being able to play in the pasture will actually probably lift her mood up quite a bit. And then Echo Dreamer, I'm gonna send you with her since you're supposed to be like the daughter of her heart. And then Apple Guardian, you're gonna stay actually, my friend. You're gonna stay because we have a lot of forest related things to do. Phantom Fall, you are a crowd favorite. So I think you're gonna stay too. And if we ever do a night quest, we'll work with you. And then these two, I think Diamond Whisperer is okay to go out to the pasture for now. I know, and don't worry guys, I do have stable care so they, they won't be miserable anymore. And then let's see, Silver Secret, we don't really have any deep mysteries just yet. So I think he'd be happy to go out. Rose Stone stays with me. Fire Lord and Amethyst Mist, I think would be happy to go into the pasture. Cause it just seems so nice to give them a chance to go and like play out where they've got a lot of room to roam. Autumn Promise, you too, my dear. You know, just so there's, there's a lot of room to stretch your legs. Can you only put so many horses in the pasture? Wait. What about, nope, you can you can add more. Fantastic. Yeah, I just really feel like I really feel like if I can't currently take them out on a quest, the kindest thing to do is let them go outside. Because I know I would go absolutely batty if somebody just locked me in a stable all the time. And that actually frees us up so that we have a lot more focus. We now aren't so overwhelmed trying to pick there we go. Trying to pick which horses. Can I move somebody over here? No, I don't want somebody from the pasture. I have to remember how I can reorganize my horses if they're inside. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but Cinnamon Glory, I think, would very much enjoy helping us out, especially with all of the quests down in the Harvest Counties. And then I do think uh, if we run into any nighttime quest, Phantom Fall is a huge fan favorite and he would very much enjoy the experience. Apple Guardian also really loves going out, especially for anything to do with Firgrove or Valdel. And I think he would enjoy Mistfall quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he would. Also, no way can you unlock a boat to take you over to Mistfall. That would be so cool. Oh my gosh. And then of course, Rose Stone, especially until we reach level 15 with her, is going to be dashing around with us. So phew, all right. And now the other horse, since my goal is to reach the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, that I want to bring with us, my friends, is going to be the brand new North Swedish horse that we are gonna go pick out right now. And now that we have gone on a race, and now that I have had a little bit of time to kind of sit and think, and oh, there's so many cute horses just all clustered there together, but a little bit of time to sit and think and try to think about what to do. 
I know which one I want. For now, maybe we'll end up getting more. Who knows, maybe I'll fall so in love with the cold, cold, wintry, northern climate of the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. I'll want one of each. But for now, I'm gonna go with my heart and I am going to pick the spotty stomach, adorable brown new north swedish horse who i have indeed fallen quite in love with so let's go ahead and we're gonna buy her clover soul <gasps> what a perfect name i oh my gosh that's really good <laughs> Clover Soul, a lucky name, a name of of the soil and greenery. I I kind of I kind of wonder like Clover as her first name would be great actually, absolutely great. But let's so let's see. I'm we're probably gonna like Clover Soul is great, but Clover Sister, Clover Strawberry, Clover Solid, Clover Shout, Clover Dash. Clover Ninja, Clover Echo, Clover Runner. Yeah, see, there's no question about it. Clover Lion. Ah, oh, Clover King, Clover Water, Clover Hoof, Clover Drop, Clover Drop, Clover Drop. Oh my gosh, Clover Soul is nice, but Clover Drop is adorable. Uh, where'd Clover go? Get back over here. I wish everything was like properly alphabetic. Uh, but let's go with Clover, and then let's see, Clover Drop, because then like each step she takes leaves behind drops of clovers. I love that idea. That is just so cute. Clover drop. That fits. That actually does fit better than clover soul too. Oh my gosh. We've done it! Yay! I'm so excited. And we have the clover drop now added to the family. She is going to be in the stable, my friends. And that means we need to get to work outfitting her with all sorts of gear. We need to get to work leveling her up and we need to get to work making it so that I can finally start focusing on a handful of horses out of our herd at a time. I know some of you are going to be absolutely furious about that, but honestly, guys, I think it's the best path forward. And it will also let me just go ahead and pick from a handful of horses to start tackling all of these quests, which I hope to do next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.